Greetings, fellow knights. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Knights of the Seer. Episode 10, Steam Heated Barracks. Hey, we are in bad moods. If you're hungry, go eat. Don't just lay in bed. Is that my fault? No. Bed rest isn't even a high priority. Dude, this is on you. Do we have stone cutting? We do. And we're currently cutting stone, too. I guess my barrels are full. Yep. They're full of amber. So here we go. We have a great hall. It needs a bit more love. It needs a seer stone, which is an art sculpture. And then probably not to have chunks in there. It's already slightly impressive and it's filthy as heck. Non-pinhole lights? Uh, we could consider it. I haven't built the tallow box yet for candles. I still need to cut down uh, trees with... Uh, I guess I already cut down the trees. Do I not have the dark wood? Let me double check that. Oh no, we're currently making the crates. So we'll, we'll get there in just a minute. So in this box, we'll do fat, tallow, and salt. And that will allow us to turn fat and salt into tallow for candles. And then up here, um, no fat. And then let's grab some salt. So soon, candles. And that way we don't... Uh, we, we could also use torches. That's not a terrible idea. Or to cut stone for the hearths, the mini hearths. Also not a terrible idea for the individual bedrooms. I just, I just don't have the stone right now and we're still working on a big project here. Slowly. So that is wine. That is 100% of uh, the brewing. So I need you all to... Suggest next research. I'm going to queue up glass, but uh, you can vote on whatever you want. I just randomly, arbitrarily pick glass. Beck's servant. 45-year-old logger named Beck is calling from nearby. She is begging to join, but she will not say what is following her. Well, a logger means that she has plant skill, which could be useful. Um, okay, we're going to hold off on that current poll. Do we help Beck? A logger, seven hours, 45 years old. It looks like it's a yes. Let's take a look at her. Incapable of dumb labor. Staggeringly ugly. 
and believes in the Church of Soren, so... You... Lady, you do realize I have no space in my prison, right? <sighs> how much... How many more linens do I have? 550? Okay. That's enough for another bed. Pull the <laughs> pull the stool right out from under you. Don't mind if I do. Okay, uh, knowledge. What knowledge to pursue? So here's that pull again. Plant colony with one defender. It might not be a bad idea, but they do have to convert. Tis a requirement first. Uh, this is really coming together, which is great. And then this is just about done. It just needs the seer stone, which is what uh, Glitter's working on right now. All right, Beck. Let's have someone that doesn't fail at arresting you. Arrest you. And you will convert. Now, one of the things that I could start to do once this is all set is to do a conversion ritual. Uh, to try to push the needle a little bit further. Uh, conversion rituals, if you take a look here, uh, they do have a certain room impressiveness requirement, so it would be best if I could hit the 120 for the most impactful ritual. It's still left to chance, but it improves with the chances. Hey, don't eat my dried meat. All right, let's close these. I saw you, bunny. Eating seven-tenths of a full meal as a bunny. Ridiculous. Where'd that seer stone go? Did we... we didn't finish it? Back to art. And then, do we have tallow? No, because nobody is mined yet. Kill the bunny. <laughs> Maybe at some point. Like, right, literally, you could go to sleep. We also have an anima tree link. Um, that is long overdue for Madzy. So, it's in the morning. We'll have Madzy do it once everyone's up. Long, long, long overdue for Madzy. I'm going to start moving away from dried... Eh, no, not yet. Okay, looks like we're going to have a bit of a tie. I could have a tiebreaker. Another Eltec meteorite. Is the first one still there? It is. And it's reminding me to Anima Tree Link again. All right, everybody is awake, so Madzy, it's go time. Uh, she got a, a protector. She's not allowed to have protector. Um, so here's the details. Madzy is restricted to Night Stalker and Warlord. So I'm going to pull you in just a second once we resolve the research. Unless Madzy, you here? Want to decide? All right. Yeah. Uh, do you want to unlock Warlord or... Uh, Night Stalker. So, for you to make an informed decision... Oh, Night Stalker, perfect. 
So you're going to get Dark Vision, which gives the pawn a uh, the ability to see in the dark better. And then after you unlock that, uh, you can get Night Stalker or uh, Warlord skills for, for specifically getting firing focus. Rapid fire. Oh, Shay. Nice. I'll just choose Words of Immunity. She'll level it up. That's awesome. Okay. Armor Smithing won by a single vote. So after, or instead of Glassworks, we will go Chain Armor. The entry gate is almost done. So what I'm going to do for the first time this stream is I'm opening up the viewer submitted ideas. So suggest a goal. And to give you a few ideas, uh, we could go try to clear a settlement. That would allow us to go to a ruin. Uh, we could go to a temporary site. We could build bedrooms. We could um, improve our armor or weapons. Whatever you think we need most. It is entirely up to you. All right, where did that seer stone go? What the heck. I have no idea. Oh, we never finished it. That explains it. And Beck had a crisis of belief and dropped 50% off of the Church of Soren. Nice. That'll help. Alright, Glitter. I really need a Seer Stone, because otherwise people will be pissed. And then let's clean the church to prepare it for our first ritual. I'd like to try to get the, the Great Hall up to 120. A double helix seer stone? Man, that really is seeing into the future. <laughs> About 700 years there. Jesus. So some other ideas. We could try to start taming roxes, which would be really good traveling and hauling animals. Uh, we could tame the, the, the wolf... We could schedule um, prayer time at the Anima Tree to try to build up Psy Focus faster. You know, whatever, whatever you see fit. It's really open. So much ruined armor. More Soren travelers. Let's hope they don't realize I have a Soren prisoner imprisoned. No one tell her. And the quest expired for the Slate Ancient Brazier. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, entry gate needs a little bit of sandstone in order to floor up, but it is more or less done. Its walls are done, its arrow loops are done, gates are done, all that jazz. All right, Arboron, I am going to force you to mine some, some salt here, and I have enough viewer requests that I'm going to pause that and pull you all on it now. Let me type that up for you. We have got build a prison, build bedrooms, build a barn, clear a settlement, 
and Ruin. Um, set up Brewing. Tame a Rocks. Or Tame Roxes. Go buy a horse or two. Build a hospital. There it is. And you are all refunded. So here's some salt in order to make the tallow for the candles, which should make the ritual room or great hall, whatever you want to call it, look even nicer. Glitter, where are you going? What are you doing? I think she was trying to build the walls. Actually, it was helpful. <laughs> Is the power of rocks Roxanne's? I sure hope not. Or I'll have to go research colored red light. Ooh, a raid site has appeared. There is a state military staging area guarded by six subjects. They will launch raids every 25 days to harass me. Thanks, Beck. And it's just southeast of my, uh, my home. Okay, well, that's, I suppose, to be expected. Looks like build a prison is the winning option. Oh my lord. More seer stones. Look at this thing. Freaking globe. I guess they did know that the world was round back then, but that's pretty progressive art right there. A double helix and a, and a globe. And I'm at 119. Come, give me... Ah. Alright, uh, you know what I could do? Is... Actually, maybe I'll do it like that. How much jade do I have? 62. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's enough. The back wall will be replaced with jade. Yeah. So, glitter. Come smash this wall down. It's going to disrespect the seer stone, but eventually it will be respected more. Uh, there's no such thing as red light, unfortunately, in this mod pack, because, you know, no electricity, so no red LEDs. But, uh, torchlight's kind of reddish. Ish. Alright, there we go, 122. A little bit of filth, and obviously this will be disrespected again, so I'd like more wiggle room. Uh, but what I will do is I will ask you who I should try to conversion ritual. With that in mind, um, let's go to prisoners and look up their certainty. What What is that called? Oh, and I also have Savage Beast Quest. Um, God, what is it called? Uh, Global Certainty Loss Factor. Is that not here? Apparently it's not in their stats. Misk? Records? No, it wouldn't be records. Uh, whatever, I'll look it up individually. So Benson is 50%. Vanka at... 0%. What? You'll never convert? Oh, because you're Eldritch Corruption. You know what? I think we're going to execute someone. I should have checked her uh, ideology beforehand. I have no idea. The only way she would ever convert is if... Oh, and she's of the Hessian cult. So that's the same reason why... The original one was never converting it either. Because the Hessian cult, because they are um, an Eldritch cult, they're basically just forget it. So if Hessians attack me, don't even bother imprisoning them because I can never convert them. Um, global loss factor for Beck is super fast. 
So Beck would be easy to go through a conversion ritual, just an FYI, not that we have to. And then O'Neill's probably very slow. Zero, again, because of the Eldritch. Uh, so, let's see. It has been five minutes. We're going to be building a prison. And who should we try to convert with ritual? Now, a successful ritual, regardless of the global certainty loss factor, I believe a successful ritual has a chance to fully convert anyway. So just because someone has a global certainty loss factor of zero doesn't mean they can't be converted. It just means they have to be converted through ritual, I think. Uh, oh, Neil, Beck, I almost called you v Vecna, uh, Venka. Or Benson. Two and a half minutes to vote on that. So a little reminder. O'Neill is a fast-walking bloodlust fighter. Beck is staggering, laggardly, night owl kind. Benson is bisexual, ascetic. And Vanka is quick sleeper kind. They're all pretty good recruits. With all pretty good passions. I've been cherry picking uh, for the best. 62 manhunting snow hares. What did you do to the snow hares? House and boys? I am very worried for you. But yeah, we'll vote on this in a second too. I'm going to accept that no matter what, because it should be fun. Testing out the new, uh, the new setup. Yeah, apparently we angered the Easter Bunny. No, I think more likely uh, we angered the uh, Carebanog Bunny from Monty Python. The one that you need a holy hand grenade to kill. Uh, yeah, that, that would be my guess. Okay, you guys want O'Neill. I'll call that early. It is 3 in the morning, so probably I won't be doing that now. What is everybody doing up at 3 in the morning? And then let's start a prison. So, in order for me to do a prison, I'm going to do it out of regular wood. Because I don't have enough stone, I think. And I'm not even going to do dark wood. I'm just going to do regular wood. Yes, they can punch their way out, but whatever. I am going to utilize... Um, the geyser. So I heat the prison um, with geothermal heat and yeah, that, that seems smarter to me. Maybe an airlock. Maybe an airlock that disadvantages the um, the prisoners. That's probably what to do it. An airlock that is a three to one airlock. That way, if there's a prison break, uh, I break skulls and they break their nose. They get their nose broke. All right, there we go. Uh, this might need to be a little bit larger. Because the geothermal generator, or geothermal, the steam geyser produces a lot of heat. So, it's the, it's like a little plus symbol or something. It's kind of a three-leaf clover-ish. If you squint hard enough. There we go. Build a prison. Okay, once glitter's up, we'll do the conversion ritual. It looks like a med bay. I mean, that's kind of what it is, right? It's pretty close to the entryway, so when I knock people out, I can drag them into the prison quick and tend to them. So, yeah, I mean, true. O'Neill with two L's. You're going to be the convertee. Mm. 
Ugh, come on. I like how he's just laying on the teeny little altar. <laughs> Don't worry, this is totally normal in our religion. Or ideology. Masterful. I would say that worked pretty well. Now, if only I could get an inspired recruit. So, yeah, he is... He's pretty certain now. Uh, in fact, his global certainty loss factor is 5% as a result of his fighter, which means he's basically has no chance of not staying as one of us, which is awesome. Uh, what to do about the other cultist? What you think? Throw that up on a pole. As I said, don't mind either way. So what that is, uh, Ve Venka here, because she is a Hessian cultist, she's basically not going to be converted outside of rituals, which means it will take an extraordinary amount of time or just wait for the cooldown and hope that it works well or whatever. So we could either execute her or um, just wait. It's It's up to you. And Glitter, you leveled up, so you are going to get Mend. Those are your two restricted skills. So Mend just automatically repairs equipment. So if you have valuable stuff that kind of fell apart, uh, Mend fixes it up nice and quick. And what I'm going to do is, um, in Glitter's bedroom, I'm going to make a stockpile of things to be mended. So anything excellent to legendary, which is a weapon. Well, I don't really care about weapons, but uh, apparel, which is clean, put here when it's damaged. And that way we auto, we auto mend. Like if there's clothing here, it's clothing to be mended because it's worth it. Either that or I'll choose to destroy it. So yeah, we're, there we go. We have some tallow. Uh, if I have tallow. I put some candles in here. Um, I probably need pedestals. So let's make a few... Let's make four pedestals for candles. Make them out of bone. We have a bone and darkwood um, temple here. It's not, not evil-esque at all. Wait, what the hell? Okay, forget that. Uh, somehow Shay converted her immediately. I don't know. But, uh, that works for me. Okay. Pole not worth pulling. And finally got the oven. So baking bread, baking pumpkin pie, griffin berry pie, vegetarian rations, quiche, apple pies, that kind of stuff. And working on this lovely prison. Savage Beast. Right, right, right. What uh, reward to accept? We've got Harp and Warbow. Eltex Mask and Plasteel. Goodwill and Eltex. Baking... Bacon Pancakes? <laughs> Was that even... <laughs> if only, right?
I wonder how hot it will get in here. Rock floor for the prison exits for trees? True. Good idea. I don't know why I would want a wooden chest. I'll put a dresser in there, though. It's too bad you can't uh, floor up the... Well, you know, I could, like, try to hide the geyser. <laughs> you see nothing underneath this dresser and bed soon to be built. Okay. You guys obviously want the harp and warbow. Another thing is I'm going to have seven mercenary gunners coming in. Um, yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Litter, you have a lot of work to do. Glitter, I think I'm going to wake you up so I can get a jump on this. They don't really need beds. How soon are they coming? 11 hours? Yeah, I probably don't even need beds. If I accept it in the morning, which would be right now. So, Harp and Warbo, here we go. Uh, something I need to do is create a new zone. Call this inside. Because... We have now a swarm of killer bunnies coming, and I don't need anyone venturing outside and letting all the bunnies in, because 63 snow hares would be really, really difficult to deal with. Like, Scorpius is side casting because he doesn't have conflagration, which is sort of the uh, AoE casting. You know, he, he's not designed to, to clear... Uh, bunnies. Scorpius is designed to clear m single targets. So, restrict. There we go. Chain armor is done. I'm excited. And let's get plate armor next. So then these bunnies... I'm going to try to influence to come to this steel gate, which means walling up my doors so that it's the only entry point in the entire colony. Oh, shoot, they do work. Hello. My swarm of haulers. for me. If I could delay the killing of the bunnies, I wouldn't mind seven additional haulers. That's uh that's that's not bad. Ooh, nice. Has to work. You know, 
I don't know what to do here. Oh, really? Really? Really, Shay? Is that how it's going to be? Benson and O'Neill's beds will get moved. There we go. There. Now you don't even see the geyser. O'Neill might have a bit of a, uh, well, fire under his butt. But, uh, you know, that's that's a good thing. And then we have candles for the first time. Uh, the other thing I wanted was pedestals. Did I actually have not made the pedestals? Okay, that's fine. A food binge because no art was nearby. Oh, right. These guys are, um, they're not of my ideology. They're Ambosian. So they believe in art and parties. So they're going to be a lot of fun to deal with. <sighs> kind of frat bro bros. Look at your armor. Gilded iron? Fancy schmancy. Oh, don't fall. Okay, good. It's them falling in love with one another. I was about to be really pissed if it was like my own people falling in love with one of them. Because, you know, then they leave and... Love story over. Still a better love story than... Bella and Edward, but... Uh... You fell in love because you were playing horseshoes together? <laughs> Cody and Mishi. Okay, got it. I don't even see a Cody. What's... Oh, Brock. I'm illiterate. Your nickname's Brock. Cody Brock. Okay. Oh, there we go. The Vendetta. Thanks for resubbing. So these bunnies are going to come. I accepted it at like 6 in the morning, so they'll come at right now, just about for two hours. And there they are. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. Alright, uh, I don't think that there's a lot of hall tasks left to do inside my walls. So that means I might as well just start shooting bunnies. So that my guests can leave. Here comes the swarm. I'm going to double up the ones in the front. Daniel, do not go outside for a snack for food. Because that will probably be the last thing you do in this life. If you do that. We've already killed uh, 11. This prison's staying very temperate, thanks to the geothermal geyser. <laughs> so, Tathanon, you looked into the conversion for interacting the prisoners, which shouldn't be possible. You can't explain it unless it's one of those mods that do it anyway. Yeah, I don't know. That's a really good question. So here's another Ruins quest. Um, let me type this up. What reward for this Ruin? Eltex. Slab bed. And Jade. Goodwill. 
I want to start clearing settlements so that we can go to the ruins, because the ruins have really cool things in them that I would love to be able to show you guys, but it requires us to, uh, to go there. I'm going to let my own colonists um, leave, my own knights, not have to wait around for this fight. Have the Ambosians use my superior and amazing defenses. Thank you, fellow knight, for tuning in to Knights of the Seer, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 20th and August 21st. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this series was a one-time only mini-series, which means that I can't incorporate any suggestions. If you would like to get more involved in the RimWorld mini-series or any of the other events in my gaming community, a link to Discord can be found in the description of the video or at Rodamont.com. All of these mini-series are suggestions submitted by you, the viewers. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow knight.